my ultimate goal here was to do a bit change using the Shape Oco 3 and mesh cam. And as you know, you can't do that because you, you got to turn the, the router off and it loses connection. So on my third attempt, I used a quarter inch rough end, came back with a 16th inch ball mill. Finally had success. Problem is my quarter inch rough end zero was right here. And it went off the back end. That piece is just short, that's all. Quit rough in in about 10 minutes. Came back and put my 16th right there. That didn't work out. That's why I got a, a dig mark here. It actually starts right here. But anyways, if somebody can show me how to do a bit change using this, that'd be great. But so far this worked, saving two files. One rough in and one finish. Just make sure you know where your your zero point is. You just gotta make my uh, step over a little smaller. Right now it's 0.02 and it still looks rough. So I might want to take it down to 0.01 or something. But my success is actually making it happen. This is just a random file off the internet. Had a lot of detail, that's why I chose it. It's running at 75 inches per minute with a plunge rate of 40. There's actually two pieces of wood flooring. That's why you're seeing the line down the middle. The other thing is, I don't understand how people are spending $400 for the Shape Oco's new CNC table. All I did is raise this up another quarter inch. That way I can put my material above so I can come out like you see. You go buy these little guys, 40 cents each, quarter 20s. Pop them in where you need to. This is really, really strong hard, hard plastic, so just thread them in. Just make sure your guy can clear this. Okay. out some inch squares. Sorry if you can't hear me. Just screw them wherever you need them. I've got about 16 to 18 of them in there. So, works great. Almost done. That step over could easily be sanded out, but definitely want to go down to 0.01 for the finish. Anyways, I think it was successful. Like I said again, if somebody can show me how to do a bit change with the Shape Oco, love to see it. these little guys in case I need a big board in here that way you don't hit the rails that's coming in here gearbox divider cut in half or straight for a little deflectors 